Okay, hey guys, uh, Eric. Calvin. Aaron. We're going to be watching, very shortly here, we're going to be watching the Star Wars Force Awakens Comic-Con reel, which shows some behind-the-scenes stuff. Um, before we get into that, little business when it concerns Blind Wave, you need to check out the uh, video that I have carded up top, which is, uh, it's going to be up there. Uh, you need to check that out because that's going to have our behind-the-scenes look into Kylo Ren the Awakening, which is a film that we here at Blind Wave are making. You'll be able to see all these handsome faces. You'll be able to see Shane and Antoine. Uh, and you'll be able to see some exclusive first looks of the effects we're going into, all that kind of stuff. Kylo Ren, as we all know, uh, is going to be the uh, antagonist in The Force Awakens. Okay? So that business is out of the way. Make sure you check that out. We're going to go ahead and jump into this Comic-Con trailer. Is there anything you guys want to say? No, I have no idea what we want. Let's just go right into it. Yeah. Jakku. <sighs> the Falcon. Oh my gosh. Uh, Destiny? No, Destiny. R2. Or not. not and, ooh, wow, they look this, cool. The, What's that? Looks like a, one of the pirate, maybe? Destroyed TIE Fighter. <laughs> Art. That's pretty neat. Got a red stripe on it. Whoa. I like that. Wow. That's a real shot, guys. Real sets. This is all real. Practical effects. You've been here, mm. but you don't know this story. Nothing's changed, really. I mean, everything's changed, but nothing's changed. Wow. That's the way you want it to be, really. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. That's so cool See, seeing go from set to Star Wars. And yet, keeping one foot yeah. in the pre-digital world. So, got some fun. It couldn't be more exciting. It's still surreal. We are here on day one of Star Wars Episode 7. Yeah, yeah. How incredible is that? Oh, that's a real explosion. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Ah! They built Flamer. They built Simon Pegg. <laughs> yeah. What's he doing there? I think he cameos. Awesome. I think he's worn the suit out probably quicker than we expected because every time he meets someone, they just. Whoa, he looks good. Get back to the old days. The old ways of doing things. Peter Mayhew looks like he's back. JJ is trying to make sure these movies and it's cool. Physical. I'm not. I'm seeing some a lot of new aliens and no old ones. Real Star Wars. Hey. I think he's just camoing. It's a gunk droid! Yes! <laughs> With a midget in it! Oh, that's cool. A full size X Wing. Oh my gosh. And a full size Millennium Falcon. Whoa. Ben and Ray. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's on a gimbal. Holy <laughs> crap! <laughs> you see the smile on that guy's face? Yeah! I would be too. Ooh. Look at that full size Falcon. Oh my gosh. I was in the same room as all these legends, and with all these new people who I'm sure want to be legends themselves. You know, it's being done. Lawrence Kazan and JJ. Such love. Guys, such did we just see who I thought we saw? Admiral Akbar and Ian Hill? That was Leia! We had to so go back. So What's that? <laughs> I, that was World Davis. <laughs> was it? Yeah. I'm positive it was. Anthony Daniels. Oh, buddy. Look at him sitting oh, in the cockpit. Oh, JJ just looking at him. <laughs> just, wouldn't you? I mean, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't care about the set. You'd, Imagine you'd seeing want that to watch time. Harrison Ford. React to what you yeah, built and wow. what you're trying to do. All right. Whoa. Okay. Wow. Wow. Holy crap. Right. Well, it's happening. Every <laughs> once in a while, I'm kind of just driving down the road, and I'll be like, "We're getting new Star Wars." You know, it doesn't feel real sometimes, and sometimes it it's does. like it's like when you're a little kid and Christmas is like a week away. It's like, oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh, please no. <laughs> wow. Uh, when I get from seeing that video, I see nothing but just love being. 
used to make this movie, right? Yeah. I mean, just l- people loving everything. Simon Pegg is on there. We're going to do a little bit of a skip through, just like we did with our Batman v Superman trailer. So that uh, means Simon Pegg is going to be in Star Wars and Star Trek. Well, J.J. Abrams directed both, too. I think that it looks to me like he's just doing a cameo without even his face being seen. No, it looked like he was like an alien or something. Yeah. So, and from what I heard, I he's a lot of people are doing that. I've heard, I've heard Daniel Craig is rumored to play a stormtrooper. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's Because they were cool. filming on the same set as, or the same studio as 007, and he begged to come over. He was like, just please let me put him in the end. I'll be a stormtrooper. Oh, that's so cool, though. Yeah. So, uh, like I said, we're going to go through this real quick. We see Mark Hamill. Okay, we've seen Mark with the beard. We have not seen any footage of, of Luke, which worries me. Is Luke going to be unrecognizable? I have a feeling like, that why? I don't know. Like, is I just hope that they don't do anything. Like, I want to see Luke and Jedi Rose like Obi Wan. What, what if he's, what if he's not that present? What if he's like off? Like maybe, you know, maybe he just does the voiceover. I just hope he doesn't. He, I hope he's not like Vaderfied. I hope he's not like in a suit. What if something. he's Kylo? <laughs> that would be crazy. I don't <laughs> think so. I, <laughs> I think that Kylo Ren and Rey are siblings. I think they're twins. I think Kylo is like a. It's like the new Darth. I think it's like a title. I think Ren and Ray are siblings. I think they're Han and Leia's kids. That's why. That's what I think. Wow. Ren and Ray are kind of weird names. Yeah, but I think that like you know Luke and Leia, Jason and Jaina, Ren and Ray. I think it's very twin like names. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's what I believe. So uh, this right here, this is this is so Death Star detention level looking, you know, and that's Oscar Rawls. Isaac right there as Poe Dameron, and. Um, I like the new Stormtrooper helmets and shoulder pads and everything. Yeah, they look makes it good. more like battle armor. Yeah. And then we have to remember, they're not called the Empire anymore. They're now, they're now called the First Order. The First Empire, Order. Oh, it was New Order. Yeah, no, First, First Order. Because okay. the Empire was shattered, and I think that there's like pieces of Empire. There's like a Second remnants. Order and a Third Order. I think there's remnants. I think that you know, one's probably like the Empire. One's like, no, we're the we're the original Empire. I don't know. We're like the First Order of Empire. There's like groups of people that are just like yeah. together, and they just have new names. And then the Rebels are now called the Resistance. Really? Yes. So, uh, am, are my eyes going crazy or the, let's expand this a bit. The jacket that he's wearing looks like the jacket we see, uh, what's his name? Finn wear. The new, the, the new black character. It looks like a very similar jacket that I've seen that character wearing. I wonder if they swap. Is this Finn? Because we know he's been a stormtrooper. That would be cool. <laughs> that would be awesome. Maybe. Huh. I mean, we have no idea what the scene is. We don't. Yeah, I, wow. just, I love to speculate. I love the fact that we can speculate again. <laughs> because there's new stuff coming. It's so great. Uh, we got Anthony. And uh, you can't see it well here, but from what I understand, he has a new arm that's red. It's like his really? Arm, his one arm got damaged. He has a new one. Kind of like how in uh, A New Hope he had a silver leg. The only thing that worries oh. me about that... Is that the TIE Fighters now have a new red stripe? That's true. I don't know. We don't know what's happening with that. I'm seeing Ray and Finn kind of practicing a, a something here. Right? It looks like they're holding yeah. hands. Remember yeah, in the last trailer, they kind of grabbed hands and she picked them up? Maybe this is a continuation of Maybe, that. Maybe, yeah. Because I know Ray has that staff like weapon. And that's just a real. <laughs> that's a real in the freaking desert. explosion. Okay, right here. This is so... Okay, we've got some green screen. Well, yeah, but they didn't fill it in. They, you know yeah. Saying. There's no CG in it, but that's, Ky- all, that's Kylo right there, guys. Yeah. Is he getting off his ship? It looks like he's getting off his ship. And that's the classic Darth Vader. Yeah. Okay, I'm seeing Vader here, but I'm also seeing the Emperor. Like, if you kind of squint your eyes, it kind of has the Emperor shape a little bit, too. Yeah. Because the Emperor had that shot. In More the, slender in the wide, yeah. wide hood. We have a flame trooper here. I'm not seeing any wires coming off of him. He is wearing a legit... Like an actual flamethrower? Yeah. Torch. Uh, a legit torch. Right? I mean, that's like... Yeah, they just that's... built one. <laughs> like, he has gases in the bat bag that could explode and kill that stunt guy. <laughs> well, I mean, luckily they have a costume where yeah. they can build in fireproofing and But, everything. I mean, that's just fantastic. Anything else, they would just do CG fire. But yeah. that's real that's fire. real fire, yeah. Well, nothing... <sighs> nothing burns like real fire. I love it in a world that has lightsabers and blasters, these guys are like, we'll burn this shit now. <laughs> <laughs> Some poor fool stuff. has to put in each individual hair in the Chewbacca's yeah. mask, but it looks... It I looks like what like, they said, is like we, this is worn out a lot faster because everyone wants to touch him every time they see him. This shot right here, 
Am I seeing a pit droid from episode one on like a body? That's what it looks yeah, like. That's what it looks like to me, kind of. The helmet, anyway. Yeah. yeah. I would love to work in a studio like this, just building Star Wars anyways. One day. One day, Eric. Did you guys notice we don't have any Rodians? We don't have any Twilight? That, that, that guy right there reminds me of a Mass Effect like alien. Yeah. Okay. Kind of look, I don't know, he reminds me of Grievous a bit in the face. A little bit with the. Uh... Yeah. Do you think it's a regular alien or do you think it's like a robotic? Type no, I think it's just a regular alien, probably. I mean, it kind of has some like robotic-ish looking things. Well, to it. look, it looks like his mouth opens right here. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. I don't know. See, look, um, see the jacket he's wearing. I think that's a jacket that Poe is wearing when he's being taken off the detention level. Why is there a little bit of red on everything? I don't. I, I think that's like a first order thing. So it's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like Tie Fighters, him, yeah, three PO. Everything just has a little bit of red on it. You yeah. know. Yeah, you're right. 3 p.m. Look at the look at his arm. It's red. It's very dark. It, it, it's dark. Not, it's not red. reflective either. It's a matte. Yeah. Well, I mean, it kind of looks like towards the elbow yeah. it gets black. It, Maybe it's honestly, just a shading. Honestly, it kind of reminds me of his coverage he had in episode two. Yeah. Uh, that's JJ and Lawrence Kasdan, who was the screenwriter of episode five, Empire Strikes Back. He's writing this, you that's know. Nice. That's awesome. Uh, it's exciting. That's Admiral Akbar. That could not just be another. No, because I I saw. Look how old the. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna admit this. I saw two sketches of spoilers, and it had Admiral Akbar and Nia Numb in it. Oh. And that's ab- that's Isn't absolutely that Admiral Akbar. And that's Nia Numb. <laughs> that yeah, guy. I know who he is. Yeah. He was there with Lando and yep. Falcon. That's cool. They're they're gonna be back. Well, yeah. What? With Lando. If they're gonna follow the same formula, he'll be in the next movie. <laughs> we've got to remember we have two more movies of this and we have anthology movies coming yeah yeah oh that's gosh. true okay that's Princess Leia that's yep. I like that, her outfit is that the same scene from the the trailer it could be like, it kind of looks like the same background and the yeah. same like clothing of the, the saber being passed yeah, it very well could be I like her outfit I, I think she looks pretty good mm-hmm. that's so that's just I don't know I don't know why that right there gets me kind of like <gasps> You know, oh, it's like because... more than anything else, almost. No, nah, the one thing that got me was at the very end. Yeah, me too. I know what you're talking. I know what you're gonna say. What? Yeah. What's this? That's, That's Morgan Davis. Is. Who's it this? It's a Goomba. <laughs> <laughs> it's so strange, but it's so Star Wars at the same time. I mean, That's JJ, right? Yeah, yeah That's JJ, JJ and, and Carrie. Carrie Fisher. <sighs> Lucky son of a fucking bitch. <laughs> Eric's like, I want Carrie Fisher to do that to No, me. I wanted to do what he's doing. Oh, that was this is what you were talking about? Yes, this part right here. Han, I like Han to Im- Solo sitting back down in the... I like to imagine this is the first time seat. they all got on set and JJ's like, right, guys, get out of the way. I have to see this. Harrison, yeah. please sit down. Right? <laughs> and just being like, yeah, and, and that possibly maybe his daughter, you know? And this looks like Finn right here. Yeah. Look at that look JJ has. Yeah, he's just... Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's crazy. Uh, additionally, there was some stuff revealed at the panel, there, which you guys can see online, and I will link down in the description. It's about an hour yeah, long. Yeah, there was like an hour panel. It's about an hour long. Uh, you know, just kind of general questions. They had some aliens come out, and uh, at the end they all went to go see a Star Wars concert or something like that. Oh, but that was, yeah, a couple Wars. things that were revealed were the First Order's base is called Star Killer Base, which they said, and if you remember, that's the name that Luke Skywalker originally was going to have. They also used that for the Force Unleashed, so I don't think there's any connection. It's just a name. It's just a name, but I thought that was kind of cool. Neat. Yeah. All that information's out there. You guys can check all that out, but this little behind-the-scenes thing was just... I don't even know what word to use. It's both happy and nostalgic and and you anticipate so much, you know? They don't show you anything, but you feel like you've seen it all. I don't know. I feel like that had a lot more, like, I don't know, had a lot more feels to me than, like, just watching a trailer. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Definitely. And we gotta remember, to we've, we've only seen teasers. We haven't seen a full trailer yet, so that's still happening. But, um... It's a crazy time to be a Star Wars fan because not only do you have this, we have Star Wars Rogue One starts filming in like two weeks. We have the confirmation of a young Han Solo movie on the horizon, possibly with Boba Fett. Mm-hmm. We have uh, we got Rebels coming out. Rebels. We have Star Wars Episode Eight and Nine. I hold in my heart they have to do an Obi Wan Kenobi movie. 
in the desert. What? Oh, but they have to. With that though, what would he do? Like, okay, is, now listen. The idea he's just there on Tatooine, staring at Luke. Obviously not. There'll be more stuff. <laughs> but dirty old man. Him talking with Qui Gon's ghosts. You know, he. We know that he went through training to learn how to become one with the Force. Yeah. Liam Neeson will be back. And oh, okay. The biggest thing. We know that Darth Maul did not die in Episode One. He came back in Clone Wars, and his in Clone Wars did not finish it off. Could Darth Maul and Obi Wan Kenobi have their lightsaber fight on the screen in round two? Anyway, we've been talking for a long time, so let's go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, obviously, we're super excited for The Force Awakens. Uh, once again, if you have not seen it, you want to check out the behind-the-scenes feature of Kylo Ren. Uh, it's going to be up there. Also, down in the description, you'll be able to... Quit pointing. <laughs> you'll be able to see uh, the teaser to that movie, which is going to be on Antoine Mandalay's channel. But if you want to watch the full video, you need to come right back here to Blind Wave's new channel, Subscribe, like, tell your friends. I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. I'm Aaron. See you guys next time.